So I've been reading a few comments about people asking, do I actually wear jewelry myself? The answer is of course, yes. So today I'm gonna to show you some of my personal pieces. I'm Bobby White and this is my personal jewelry collection. I'd like to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. Let's start with the big stuff, the boom grenade. So this one is 18 karat gold and rose gold. We've got about five karat of diamonds and about a karat of rubies on there. To be honest, I wear this one probably once a month when I'm going out to a sort of place where you can get away from wearing a big grenade really. Also with this one as well, it all pulls out so you get the little pin and everything out. So it's quite a fun little piece when you go into a party and people want to look at your stuff. So yeah, I really enjoy this piece it's probably one of my favorite pieces so the price of this one's about $26,000 and that's with the chain in 18 karat gold one thing I don't recommend about this necklace is wearing it to an airport when you're going through customs you get some funny looks and you just really don't like it and the second piece is obviously another big one it's the Spartan again this is another big statement piece this one you'd only wear like probably once or twice a month and this one represents like power I mean you want to walk in the room and you want to feel like a warrior you want to feel powerful this is the necklace I put on that's why I've always loved this one this is 18 karat white gold it's We've got about 15 karat diamonds, we've got rubies, we've got black diamonds in there, black rhodium. This piece probably would be about $50,000. Now we've got the cross. It's a big piece, but it's a piece you can wear every single day. I wear this quite a lot. So in the necklace lift chain, there's little cages full of diamonds. So you get a little bit of spark around your neck, but it's not too much. So that's why I like wearing this chain. And with the cross, they're all square cut. They're all specially cut for this cross, so they're the right size. But they're, they're beautiful stones, they're all D color, especially with the 18 karat rose gold. It's a really nice piece to wear every day. This piece costs $30,000. With this one, it's a little bit of a fun piece. It's my race to the moon rocket. And the idea about this one is about when you're like, you're on the ground and you put this on, you like, you power yourself into space. Like you're going to the stars, you're going to the moon. It's this. That was the idea about this pendant. And with this one, I made it in 18 karat rose gold. But to give it a little bit of contrast, I black rhodium dip, the black diamond, the white diamonds. So it gives it a little bit of texture. And the funny thing with this one, I've actually got a picture in my office of this rocket in space. We had it drawn up and done. And I think this one will probably be about $20,000. Bracelets. So first we're going to start with a tennis bracelet. I've got this plain one here, it's all handmade, it's quite simple, just an everyday wear one. But then we're moving on to the one with the lion's head, which turn into the clip. A little bit more fun, and you can wear like two of them at a time. Or even with this one, this one's got the grenade on it. You can wear all three together, and it looks really good. With these tennis ones, they go for around six, seven thousand dollars each. Cuban bracelet, this one needs no introduction, it's classic. So I wanted to make mine in 18 karat yellow gold. Keep it simple, full of diamonds, can't go wrong. But I've done mine a little bit different, I've done it cut down setting, so you see less of the metal. Um, but I wear this a lot, it's a really cool piece and it's, everyone loves them. And the cost of this one is about $14,000. Moving on to my smaller pendants, I've got five different ones here. These are stuff I wear every single day, I shop and change. We've got the Spartans, we've got the grenades, we've got the lions, we've got the skulls, you've got everything you need here. I absolutely love these, I mean these are our biggest seller online, you can see why they're so easy to wear. These cost about $1,500 to about $3,000 each. Before I move on to my watches and rings, I just want to talk a little bit more about Skillshare, the sponsor of this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for people who are creative and curious. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. My life and my business are all about creating and the craftsmanship of making jewelry, which is the skill I have learned. I'm passionate about other forms of art. Photography is one of them. Last weekend, I watched a course by Trashan. It was called Street Photography. Capture the life of your city. I love learning the mindsets of creative people, how they approach their project, their style and how they edit their work. You learn all this in Trash Hands course. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity or join a creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial with Skillshare's premium membership and after that it's only about $10 a month. This is my ring, the motion ring. The thing about the motion ring like you push it in the right certain space and it undoes and it reveals like these yellow diamonds inside. Um, it's a really iconic piece for the brand and I've had this one about 10 years. And usually when I'm wearing this ring, I usually wear the bangle that goes alongside it. It's also 18 karat yellow gold. It moves in a similar way. And this one is about $19,500. And with the next one, I made it in rose gold with platinum on the inside. This one's even more special. It's got special diamonds. They're all cut in squares. They're D-color flawless. So there's no joins, there's no metal. So when it opens, the diamonds look like they're floating inside. When the ring's closed, you cannot even see one join. So it's opened and you reveal some more diamonds on the inside. This is a beautiful piece. It took about one year to make going backwards and forwards with diamond cutter so this is a really special piece and I'll probably keep this forever so the yellow gold diamond with the yellow diamonds inside is about $16,000 and to be honest with this one it's priceless to me it took me a year to do it and it's I probably would never sell it so I've never really worked out a price for it it's one of my most intricate pieces 
Moving on to watches, I only really get one out of the safe at a time. So today I've got the Yellow Gold Daytona. Why I've always loved the Yellow Gold Rolex, because back in the 80s, when you used to see someone pull up in their Mercedes and get out with a gold Rolex on, I mean, that to me was like the pinnacle. I always wanted one, so. I'm always going to keep one of these in the collection. I don't want to talk too much about watches today. I've got something coming up quite special I'm working on, so watch this space. Moving on to some fun things I made for my YouTube channel, starting with the LA baseball cap in white, gold and diamonds. I mean, this was really fun. I actually kept it for myself. I love wearing it. It's a bit outrageous wearing a $20,000 baseball cap, but it's there to stay for a little bit. So this is a Cuban Apple Watch strap. I don't really wear it that often, but it's such a cool piece. I wanted to keep it and perhaps I'll perhaps you'll wear it a little bit more. It took a really long time to make. These are really big links, so bending it round was like really hard and we black rhodiumed it. So I'm always gonna keep it because I think it looks really good on there, but I don't really wear it that much. And then moving on to the Bugs Bunny. I have actually young this from my trainers once or twice, but it's there, I'm gonna keep it, it's quite fun. Little Bugs Bunny. Moving on to the lace locks. We made these for the YouTube channel, but they've been really successful. These ones are diamonds and 18 karat white gold. You don't have to wear these on Air Force Ones. You can put them in any training you want, but today I've just got the Air Forces on. This is it, my personal collection. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you very soon.